Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I B reporting for the Media Speaks.com. Um, do me a favor, friends. I wasn't gonna go ahead and post tonight. You know why? Because I do Saturdays on the Media Speaks.com. But I decided to go ahead and report tonight because it has been a minute since a lot of you have seen me. And I got a few emails of people saying that they missed me. That is wonderful news! So this is for you people. Um, you guys know I like to do stuff on weekends, and let me tell you why. Did you ever notice that crimes don't happen on weekends? Presidents, congressmen, senators, none of them ever post anything on weekends because you're not paying attention. If you believe that, you're an idiot. They always do things on weekends, and, and this weekend's uh, no exception, but it's already been posted about Rand Paul, and I talked about it earlier on the Media Speaks. My point being, I'm here on weekends. The Media Speaks is here on weekends. Do you know why? Because the globe keeps turning on weekends, and crimes, and tyrannies, and dictators all continue to do the sorts of things that they do all weekend long. So I'm going to go ahead and do one on the video. This is for the, the two people who said they missed me. There were two of them. Okay, I ain't going to lie, but thank both of you for sending me your information. This is a little bit old. This is from Paul Joseph Watson from Infowars.com. And uh, again, as Court always says, we only imitate you, Paul Joseph Watson, because we love you. Not because we don't love you, mind you. You are the man. It is absolutely insane. All right, I can't do it nearly as good as Kyle can, nor do I claim to be able to do so. 2000, uh, well, let me get to the art, the name first. Nobel Peace Prize nominee Obama asks for military leaders if they will fire on U.S. citizens. Now, this is a bit dated. This is from back in January. But a lot of you that listen to my show, you already know that I'll sometimes go back to older shows that I've done. Uh, old, I should say older articles that I've read. And I'll do shows on them because maybe I'm thinking about getting rid of them. But for some reason, they have stuck in my head to such a large degree that I feel the need to address them. And this is one of them. 2009 Nobel Peace Prize nominee Jim Garrow shockingly claims that he was told by a top military veteran that the Obama administration's litmus test for new military leaders is whether or not they will obey an order to fire on U.S. citizens. But wait a minute! This is why I went back to it. Didn't McCain and Graham talk about all of us as though we were what, with crazy birds or something stupid, some fifth grade, fifth grade insult he gave us. Uh, the Tea Party members were so insane, absolutely insane, I, can't, I just can't do it, um, that we were nuts for thinking that the American uh, government would shoot on American people on U.S. soil. Well, listen to this. This is, again, dated January 22nd. Garo was nominated three years ago from the prestigious Nobel Peace Prize and is the founder of the Pink Pagoda Girls, an organization dedicated to rescuing baby girls from genocide in China. Garo has been personally involved in helping rescue more than 36,000 Chinese baby girls from death. He is a public figure, not an anonymous voice on the internet, which makes this claim all the more disturbing. What he is alleging, and I'm not going to read all of this, go to the article. That's why I tell you where it's from. If you want to read the article, go to the article. If you want to hear about it, then listen to me and I will tell you about it. And it's worse than you think. I'm not being condescending here. I'm being a little negative because this is negative information. The A lot of you don't know what this litmus test is. You cannot be a part of the in-group unless you are a military leader 
that is willing to kill American citizens on American soil before said Americans have had their day in court. And among other things, Rand Paul has specifically addressed that we have a copious amount of laws that are meant to deal with what happens if a terrorist is on U.S. soil and if they are plotting against America, which for those of you that would love to call Na Janet Napolitano on me, please know that I am the nonviolent one, so you're going to look like an idiot. I wouldn't hurt anybody unless they attacked me first. I have martial arts training. Mm -hmm. And I made that promise to my sensei, and I don't break promises if I can help it. They are telling us, well, I should say they're telling the military leaders, please listen to this. If you are not willing to fire upon American citizens that we deem to be a terrorist without any trial, without any hearing, then you may not get the promotion that you're entitled to. So I've heard a lot of people say that what they are hoping for is that our military leaders will not fire on us if called to do so. What you're seeing now is us hoping that our military leaders lied and said that they would, but really wouldn't in order to get the job. I know that sounds a little wordy and confusing. Rewind it and play it again because it's important. And for those of you that think that Ron Paul, Rand Paul, excuse me, that habit dies hard, Rand Paul spoke for nothing, then you do not understand the history of what tyranny is. So go to Google, type in tyranny, colon, define, and it will tell you what tyranny means. And you will be very saddened to know that we are heading in that direction. Is America a tyrannical government? We use the term no. America is not a tyrannical government. I said it. But America is heading in that direction with great speed. We look like the beginning of Nazi Germany here. And I don't mean killing Jews. I don't mean attacking Russia. I mean fascism. If you don't know what it means, I made a New Year's resolution that I would always say that I would explain things to people who are new. If you are new, this show is for you. Go into Google and type in fascism colon define and you will see that it is defined very much in terms of what we are seeing here today, right now. And there's nowhere to go beyond that. I need you to do that. And I need you to look at what all of us are out here, what, what it is that we are actually saying. Because I'm telling you people, it does matter. I, I want to say real quick, also, I have told people recently that if they went ahead and shared the correct views, that I would go ahead and promote their favorite charity on the show. And I'm going to do that for some people that have done it. Miss um, Mobley, The Charity Connection. Look up The Charity Connection. They do a lot of good for a lot of people. How do I know this? Am I just promoting somebody that shared my video? No. I'm telling you that these people stepped forward to help my dad when he was dying of liver cancer that I might say was brought on, in my opinion, by GMOs and Monsanto. My dad was battling liver cancer that came from a gallbladder cancer and almost killed him. And this is the first the first charity that came forced to help us. There were other ones. If you want to know who, let me know. Leave me a message. Um, and he died too soon. So the charity connection is real, and I'll put my name on that one. I also want to thank the band Meridian, but it's spelled M-E-R-I-D-1. I-A-N. They also shared the correct views, and he asked if his band was considered a charity. No, it's not, but you shared my video, and I will promote it. And I've seen these guys. They're really good. 
All right, guys, Washington Post, uh, Nancy Pelosi says drone strikes on Americans could stay secret. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, a minority. That means that the wonderful Republicans are stepping up to do their job, right? They're fighting it because they're the majority. No, you were wrong. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said that the U.S. that the White House, excuse me, doesn't necessarily have to confess to killing American citizens by unarmed drones. Oh, but Sam, she said that after Ron Paul spoke. No. I'm going back to some of the stories that I skipped for a reason. Remember that I said that? February the 19th, 2013, before Rand Paul's filibuster. This is why Rand Paul did it. It all depends on the situation, she said in reply to a Huffington Post reporter, socialist, <coughs> did I say that out loud, who asked if President Obama's administration should acknowledge when it targets a U.S. citizen in a drone strike. The Washington Examiner reported one more line. Maybe it just depends, she reportedly said. People just want to be protected. No, people like me, you know, terrorists who are so dangerous, people like me want the Constitution adhered to. She also said that such disclosure depends on the timing, because that's right, it's all about timing. No, it's right that you are one of the worst political leaders in modern time. That is a correct view. Last thing that I want to get to. Indiana passes GMO labeling law, but some worry that its provisions were poorly planned. I told you I was going to get to some older shows, older shows that I had decided I wasn't going to get to. Well, I think tonight's tonight to do some of those. Ethan A. Huff, Natural News. The world's second most populous country, India, and for those of you who listen to Top 40, that means the country that has the second highest population rate, has finally given some teeth to an earlier draft ruling from 2006 that mandates the labeling of all foods that contain genetically modified organisms, GMOs. And while the move represents yet another positive step towards full food transparency, details about how the new requirements will be implemented and enforced are still lacking. Basically, here's what they're worried about. They're worried that they're going to say all natural, which doesn't mean all organic. For those of you, and I used to be one of you, that buy all natural food, thinking that it means all organic food, you're wrong. Look, let me give this to you in layman's terms. Go to the article on Natural News if you want the way he worded it. Here's what I'm going to say. And this is from somebody who has been, who has gone from the Pepsi drinking, fast food eating idiot to somebody who drinks very little Pepsi, eats fast food, and confesses that it is an awful idea, and tries to take a lot of nutritional supplements. I'm not going to lie to you, that's who I am. If it doesn't say all organic, it is not all organic. There may be pesticides in your food. There is a company, for those of you that do not know, and for those of you that do, you know why I'm doing this. Just stay with me. Don't click off. Monsanto is a very, very evil company. They say that they are growing genetically modified crops to make you healthier. And what they are doing, whether they know it or not, I am not God. I do not judge motives. I am Sam and I talk about actions. Their actions are things that lead to more food, but also lead to more sickness, a lower quality of life, and they lead oftentimes to cancer. Look up French Monsanto rats in a search engine. 
You're listening to The Correct Views. Thank you for doing so. Good night, my friends. God bless. Please donate to this show if you can, because every penny that I get goes back into this show. If I ended up jobless tomorrow, and for those of you that know me, it could happen, the money you give me will go to this show. It will not go to anything else. So thank you for donating. Do me a favor, share this video. If you share this video and let me know in my comment line below what your favorite charity is, I will promote your favorite charity online the same way I promoted the charity connection today and I promoted even a band. You know what? Share the video and I'll make sure you get mentioned on my video. Good night, friends. God bless and thank you for doing so.